Hey there guys, my name's Jacob Javutt, and last year I started my very own business in hopes of one day reaching financial freedom. I have learned a ton since I started, and I wanted to create this channel as a way to share with you guys what I've learned, but also follow me along my journey. On the road to financial freedom. What's going on guys? Uh, today I've got actually a pretty busy day. Um, I'm doing another landscaping job. I'm edging some beds, um, trimming some shrubs, and then um, this guy's got a seawall that I'm completely clearing out. Um, it's gonna be in total about $400. So I'm hoping I can do that today. Um, $400 a day is about where I wanna be. Um, I'm also picking up some branches for my neighbor for like 15 bucks. I mean, it's not much and they're right there. So um, I got that and then I also have um, some estimates to do after all that. So I'm just gonna walk you through the whole day, um, give some tips, and uh, let's jump right into it. Just unloaded all of the scaffolding. We still have a ton of room in the truck here. So I'm gonna go pick up those branches, and then it's time for the big job. All right, so I picked up the branches. Um, there wasn't too many. I did have to cut them in order to fit them all in the truck. Now I'm down here to pick up the trimmers and other things I'll need for this job. Um, and I totally forgot that the pull cord on the blower actually broke off um, last Friday while we were mowing. I think I've replaced one of these before. To be honest, I think it would take me a good amount of time to do it now. I'm going to see if I can bring it to the shop that I go to and hopefully they can quickly put one in, you know, a lot faster than I can. Because I'm going to need this. We're cleaning up a seawall and to try and rake over rocks, it's not really going to work. Kind of need a blower. So um, I'm going to head up there and see if they can help me out. Here is where I will be working today. Um, I actually already did some work here, uh, I forget, maybe a month or two ago. Um, we already cleaned the seawall. They're having a wedding here, so they want it cleaned up again. Beautiful view out here. I love working at places like this. Yeah. Alrighty. Enough of that. Let's get to work. So normally what I would try and do is set up a time lapse of me doing all this work, but um, I accidentally broke my tripod, so I got to buy a new one of those. It was a cheap one anyways, but I'll just get some before and afters here. This is one of these shrubs that I will be trimming. Um, it's actually really not too, too overgrown compared to a lot of the ones that I normally do. We've got another one over here and then there it is. So they're really not in too bad of shape, but this has not taken me that long to trim this um i've got some more to do but it's already looking really good um the key with this is while i'm trimming i'm trying to make the whole top even and you can see this part i really had to cut into more and um it's really a balance because i mean right here still obviously dips down in order for me to make this even, I'd have to take this low spot and go all the way across. I really don't want to risk cutting it any deeper and then having bare spots. It's one of those things where it's going to have to grow in um, over the years. And I mean, it's really not going to take long for that to grow in. It's really just a battle. When you're trimming shrubs, it's really a battle between making it look nice after you've done the job, but also, um, making it look nice over the years if that makes sense so like something like this if i just wanted to make it look good today i would just shape it up and maybe you know follow it at a grade but that's not necessarily what's going to make it look great over the next few years it's going to make it look great over the next few years is letting this grow so that it's all flat instead of having these slopes so what i do is i usually find a balance or um depending on the shape that it's in um, you know, if it's something that's really been out of hand for a few years, uh, I'll kind of go with something that looks good because the amount of years it's going to take for it to grow in, it's not going to be good. But something like this, it's already so close to being flat that you might as well let it grow. And it still looks good. I mean, it's shaped up. So, um, yeah, nothing wrong with this. 
as you can see this one was kind of the same issue with the one before on the other side you can see how much lower right here is but in order for me to go across um, you know I'd have to slope this that'd be a little bit dangerous taking that much off so still looks good um, and then this one this one was actually my favorite one I don't know why that just the shape of it was for some reason really fun to trim and then along all of these I trimmed just a little bit away from the uh, from the building it's more so an issue with the house when it's up against the house but you never want any shrubs or anything to be touching the building that's how you get a lot of bugs in and then I mean for a deck like this it's not so much the bugs but you don't want that shrub to grow into the build the uh, the building you don't want it growing into the building you don't want it growing into the uh, building and here is the next part of the job is cleaning up this seawall loops up around there a little bit right in that area and then down here wasn't as bad as when we originally did it but the thing that's annoying about this is I need the blower because I can't rake all this stuff. Um, a lot of it, honestly, is just a weed whacker. Um, first, I'm going to go through with the uh, this trimmer head and get some of the bigger stuff. I might even need the chainsaw or my uh, loppers, I call them. I'm not sure what the actual name is. Oh, I don't know if I said this already, but I, brought, I dropped the blower off and it's going to take them a few hours to fix it. So uh, the joys of, you know being a business owner there's so much running around and crap i gotta do and just little little things like that where it's if i had the blower already here it'd make my life 100 times easier but um now i gotta drive all the way back which it's about that's 30 minutes there and back um that i could be spending doing something else so it happens whatever let's get to work Alrighty, so my dad that's him leaving there uh he just dropped off the blower for me uh another trimmer that we were getting fixed and some more string which i just ran out of i started clearing this out pretty well that's the line where he wanted it to and then it's really thick through here i'm gonna go back down finish clearing this out but it's getting there um I'm not sure what time i started clearing this out i know i started this job about nine it's 11 30 so you know that's not bad I just uh, <clears throat> finished the first round of trimming. Uh, this already looks a ton better, but there is still some stuff, especially over here. <clears throat> um, so I went through, trimmed it all, blew it all off. Now I'm gonna go back through, do the final trimming, blow everything off again. I'm sure there's still gonna be a little bit of stuff especially after uh, um, blowing, because I might be able to, tr I should be able to trim it all, but blowing it, especially right on the lake um, with the wind, you, there's no way to get all of it and to sit there, try and get every last bit, you're not going to, you're gonna waste a bunch of time. Um, so it already looks a lot better. I'm gonna go through one more time. The next thing I'm gonna do is edging the bed and then obviously loading up all the clippings you can kind of tell there's already quite a bit. I'm gonna have to um, rake it all up and uh, load it in the truck and then on to estimates. Okay, so I finished the second round of trimming and blowing off for the seawall. I blew off these shrubs a little bit, but um, a lot of it's getting in the mulch bed and there's actually not that many clippings. So I'm just gonna pick it out by hand. And now what I'm gonna do is edge the mulch beds which i'll show you right now i almost forgot i gotta swap out the uh old well not the old but i gotta swap out the trimmer head for the edge rad okay so as i said before these beds i actually edged earlier this summer that edge it's pretty much already made so this will be easy it's just gonna be a matter of staying on track and going right along and uh, I got this one, that one, and there's the tree behind it. All right, I got my pile here. It's all raked up. Um, I'm gonna go back, get the tarp. I've edged all the beds. Um, 
can see. I'm gonna pick up some of the grass clippings that's on the mulch. Um, but they look pretty good. Definitely edging it, um, beds, sidewalks, really make uh, your landscaping look sharp. I gotta pick up grass on this one too, but same thing. Nice sharp edges. That one over there, same thing. All right, the shrubs are trimmed, beds are edged, and the seawall is complete. Much, much better. Oh yes, nice and clean. Time to load up the truck. I already got the piles in there, it's just the equipment. And uh, time to do some numbers on this job. Okay, so I grossed $438 for this job. Uh, the expenses were about $38. It was for trucking, um, as well as going to the landfill, gas. It might have even been a little bit more than $38, but we'll say roughly $38. So I profited $400 on this job. Uh, this job took me about seven hours. So that comes to about $57 an hour of profit. I think it's like $62 an hour gross, but really not too worried about that. As I'm looking back to this, it actually, I kind of, Think I should have charged a little bit more um, with a job like this where I'm clearing what the heck where I'm clearing a seawall you know it's something where people don't really see the point in paying for or at least I wouldn't as a homeowner see the point in paying as much uh, but it is one of those things that takes such a long time because I had to trim all the weeds and then to blow it when it's right along the lake it takes an extremely long amount of time um, but it seems like one of those things that should be really easy So these kind of jobs are always tough because you don't want to charge a big amount But you know that that's actually what it's worth although with this guy I've already done work for him before and um, I just felt like being a nice guy, which maybe I shouldn't do as much, but it's also good for business I don't know. I'm really I don't have the exact answer on that when you actually break down how much um, you need to perform a job like this you need a backpack blower to clear that seawall or else you just leave all the weeds there it's going to look like crap you can't rake it and a blower is going to cost you about five hundred dollars now you also need a truck to haul all the stuff away which is going to be about ten thousand dollars i said in the previous video um, i don't recommend you get a very high-end truck they are more reliable but i think if you're trying to make return um uh you know get money back on your investment quickly I don't think it makes sense to buy a truck that much, but I guess that's up to you. Um, uh, you're going to need a hedge trimmer and a weed whacker for this, which is going to be about $400 if you get the um, if you buy a weed whacker and then get the attachment for a trimmer. You also will need an edger, and a, the same thing, I recommend getting an attachment for that. Looking online, you can get one for right around $75. Uh, you also need a tarp, which is going to be about $20. and in total, it's going to be about $11,000 that you need to actually do a job like this. With making $400 on this job, it would take you 27 and a half jobs to return your investment. This job took me seven hours. So you could do this job five or maybe six times a week if you really wanted to. And at that pace, it's going to be just a little bit over a month to get your investment back, which is not bad, but it's going to be it's hard, especially starting out, to get five or six jobs in a week, every week, consistently. To start out and do a job like this where you need all these different tools doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, there's definitely some other jobs that you can do that are easier, that are going to make you the same amount of money, if not more. Um, I recommend head trimming, which will be actually in the next video that I'm going to release. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed watching me along my journey. Uh, a lot of these jobs are not easy. It's really a lot of hard work, but it is good money. Hopefully we can get to financial freedom one day through this hard work, and uh, I don't know, we'll see. But thank you guys for tuning in. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next video.